everyone, welcome back to the channel for another Draft to Glory episode. Uh, a lot of stuff sold on the transfer list, so we're up to 161,000, um, but we'll clear that. And the good thing is, from our last draft, we are left with a foot draft entry, so we don't have to even have to pay any money for this, we just get to use our draft token, so we're still on 161k with a draft in the bank. And now we need a decent formation because I've been struggling as of late. So I think the 41212 wide or the 43312. And I think for the purposes of having a right mid and a left mid, we're going to take the 41212 wide. Alright, we're going to try and get a really strong team and definitely starting off with a 96 Zidane with a Hunter. That looks like a pretty insane card. Really going to enjoy using him. And we can pair him up with striker Ronaldo for sure. So already really strong team. Or a really strong starting point I should say. Uh, no one from the Italian league which is a bit unfortunate. So I guess we're just going to put Depay there. Might have to look to switch him out depending on how our team goes. Alright, right mid. We still get no one from the Italian league. So why not just chuck Walcott there. And, uh, oops, I was going to switch these players around. But I guess there's no reason if we don't get an Italian league player on the left wing as well. Which we don't. Uh, and we don't get... Netherlands, we do get a Portugal player, so that's the best we can do. We're going to switch him around, so at least Ronaldo gets some sort of link. Now moving on to the CDM. And we get our Silvers. I'm just going to take the English, because he links to Walcott. Um, but we're definitely going to look to replace him as soon as possible. Alright, for right back, we'll take Yedlin. He's going to get the link to Walcott. And he's a pretty quick player as well, so might hold up. Centre back, I guess we go with Delict, just because he has that Italian league in case we do find a way to uh, link Ronaldo up top. And for here, let's see, we only get one English player, and that's Dunk. I'm guessing we're just going to have to take him, just so that uh, Yedlin gets a link and so does our CDM. But right now, it's a little bit all over the place. And out of these guys, we're just going to have to take Pau Lopez for the Italian link, because we didn't get an English keeper. Um, but hopefully, with a couple of icons and a couple of good draft picks, we can end up linking everyone. Alright, we could take Elba. However, I'm going to take Sandro, because he gets the strong link to Delict. Then we're hopefully we can get a better left mid from the Italian league. And then left side, we can hopefully go Italian. Right side, we can hopefully go with uh, Premier League. We're going to take the 90 Schmeichel because he links with both of them. Which is definitely going to help us. Okay. So, do we take Benucci? Put him in. Yedlin loses his strong link. Or do we get Walker who gains a strong link? I'm guessing we'll take Walker, because he's going to boost up both Dunk and Walcott. Alright, still looking to improve that CDM and hopefully a better striker. But we're not going to turn down an icon centre-back. So we'll place him in with everyone, and the good thing is he still links with everyone. Upgrade that Dunk a little bit, so really happy with that. Now we just want a better striker. However, I and mean, we do need a better CDM. But I think the play is to take Douglas Costa and chuck him over on the left. That's going to boost up a lot of people. So we still need to improve the CDM and our striker pretty well. If we could get an icon CDM, that would be amazing. But it's probably unlikely. But for now, I guess we'll take Pogba. Put Pogba in there. Uh, he gets a strong link there. 6 chem, but... He could definitely play CDM enough. Let's see, how's the Darn? We switch them around, he loses a lot, so we're not going to do that. Still looking to improve that right striker. And we get a Salah, so 92 rated with a Hawk, we'll chuck him in there. 
he's at least going to link up a little bit more to Walcott. So Walcott's now on 10, Salah's on 7, and Pogba is on 6. I think that's the best we're really going to be doing for now. We're just looking to bolster up our subs now. And we do that with Messi. Messi's going to be a good sub to bring on. Um, if we could get a better CDM, that would be nice, but it's unlikely. Out of these guys, Adama Traore might be really good to grab some of that pace. Switch him out for Walcott, so now we've always got a pretty quick uh, strike uh, right wing. And I guess out of these, Bamiyang is also the one to take. And I do believe we can even chuck Adama Traore uh, just on straight away, so already an upgrade to the 77 Walcott. So if we need Walcott can inject a bit of pace. Ooh, okay. We get quite a lot of decent players now. We do get Sun. Do we prefer Sun to Salah? Not sure. Uh, we're pretty happy with Walker where he is, so we don't need these two. So I guess Sun, at the very least, could be a sub. What happens if we do this? Does he just go down one? Yeah. So we'll keep Salah because he's got the... Uh, the better chemistry and Sun can become one of our subs that we bring on. Alright, we get Sterling, we get Bale Coman as well. Sterling would be a pretty strong right wing, as would Bale. Bale wouldn't really help. I guess we take Sterling. Let's uh, match him up against Triore, see who's better. Let's see. Triore is almost better in all of them, but. Ooh. Uh, we're going to keep Triore there. We'll test him out. Hopefully he does well. If he fails a little bit the next game, we can sub out him for Sterling. Uh, but we will pick our last sub. Hopefully it's someone decent. And it is Striker Mbappe. So I'm going to take Striker Mbappe. And uh, we can't use him here. What happens to him if he... Yeah, Traore loses a lot, and Mbappe will stay on 7. But he can become one of our subs, so most likely subs looking like Son, Mbappe, and Messi. Which I can take that. That's going to be our team. Do we get a manager to boost up our chemistry? Uh, let's see. I think they're already pretty good. Yeah, that gets Traore plus 1. Alright, we're going to take Victor here. At least Traore gets plus one. Okay, 189 squad, not bad. I'll see you guys for the first match. Hopefully we can have a better performance than last draft. Alright, into our first match. We're versus Leon FC. Uh, he's got Kante, he's got the same Zidane. Griezmann, in for Messi, Modric, Ramos, Varane, Elba, Puyol, Oblak. And Hazard on the left. So, pretty strong team. Hopefully, we can beat him. I think it was like a 4-3-3. A three, three. But, anyway, hopefully we can come out with the win. I'll see you guys for the match highlights. Oh. Alright, guys. Uh, we won 6-2. I was, just went through all of the highlights. But, unfortunately, the file corrupted. I don't think there's a way to go back. So, we can't watch that. We can only advance. Bit unfortunate, but pretty much... We had a lot of shots... Uh, they did not have a lot of shots. They were actually saving a lot of our goals all throughout that match. But we ended up with 6-2. It was 50th minute, I think it was 1-1. We only had one goal in the first half. But then after that, it kind of opened up a bit. And uh, it was just a... Ronaldo was definitely the standout. Scored all of our goals. And Zidane was pretty good as well. Salah missed some easy chances, I would say. But uh, besides that, everyone else just played their role. And, yeah, I think Sterling was good as a sub, so I'm going to keep him there because I like the injection of pace that he brings. So we'll keep Traore on the right wing for now. But I'll see you guys for the second match. Hopefully I'll be able to get the highlights for the... All right, second game. I'm not going to say his team name. It's a bit weird. Uh, but 4-3-3, Cristiano Ronaldo, Lionel Messi, and uh, Neymar up front. Pretty deadly attacking three. Uh, Zidane in there. I didn't catch the rest of the team, but it did look pretty good. I was kind of stunned by that top three. That's going to be a lot to deal with. So hopefully we can make it through, and I'll see you guys at the end of the match. 
Alright guys, it seems like uh, my game is frozen. We're up 4-1 right now. So, a little bit disappointing depending on what's going to come of this. I'm pressing my middle button, but uh, it's not responding. There is now a timer down the bottom. 43, 42 seconds. Not sure what it means. I just wanted to get this on recording so we might have a little uh, understanding about what it's what's happening but pretty much I guess I'll bring you guys back once it's resolved see what happens I'm hoping this doesn't kick us out of the draft uh, as you can see TCG we're up 4-1 so it's going to be really annoying if we end up losing this match because it's kick kicked us out alright time is on zero now and still nothing's happened I'm definitely still connected to the internet, I've just checked my computer and my phone, everything's up, everything's working, so I'm hoping it's not my PlayStation, because the the PlayStation button isn't responding, normally that works, I don't know what it is, I'm going to leave it for a little bit again, and just see what comes of it, uh, if it's my PlayStation freezing, I guess that's on my PlayStation, time for a new one, I don't know, but I'll bring you guys back in, see what happens see what resolves all right it's finally caught up it says uh i'm not actively playing the game if you do not resume playing before the countdown expires you will forfeit the match and now everything just caught up with us so obviously it's my playstation bugging out and it looks like it's turned itself off which is a little bit weird and now it's just turned itself back on so my uh my laptop, my PlayStation just turned itself off. Really weird. So I'm guessing we've lost in the draft. I'll load back into it and I'll show you guys uh, how we end up, really. Alright, guys, it gave us the, the DNF message that did not finish. We can only claim our reward, which is one win, which is unfortunate. We were up 4 1. I've shown the proof of it. I don't know what, rent, what went wrong there with my PlayStation or with FIFA because I've played this game a lot of time. I've played many other games on my PlayStation and it's never kind of restarted on me, kicked me out or froze like that. So I'm wondering if it's just because of FIFA. Please let me know if this has happened to you with FIFA or just PlayStation in general. Uh, just leave a comment down below because I'm a little bit confused. I had to, you know, came up with one of those uh, reports when I restarted the PlayStation to fill out. So obviously they knew something went wrong. But we claim our reward should at least be two wins, I would have thought. But that's not how it goes. So we just get to open a gold, two gold packs and jumbo gold pack. These rewards are pretty terrible. It's pretty unfortunate just because I didn't lose by my own skill. Uh, my PlayStation or FIFA kicked me out. Um, so that's a bit unfortunate. So we'll sell all this stuff. And... Uh, Contracts do sell, so we'll keep that selling. Engine will sell, get rid of that. Nice thousand coins. As you can see, I'm a bit deflated because our draft glow got cut short. I thought we had a pretty good team there. Uh, I was liking the players, I was liking the setup, I was liking the formation. Um, both the games we had pretty good leads on. And uh, the game or my PlayStation decided otherwise, which is really weird because my PlayStation hasn't really done that before. And it hasn't even been running long, like I've played, you know, eight hour sessions on it and it's just worked fine. And then this one, it just decided to freeze and kick us off. Uh, I'm not sure, maybe it was because I was spamming the PlayStation button, maybe if I didn't touch anything it would have been alright. But as you saw, the timer went down to zero, so it probably would have said I was inactive anyway. Uh, which is a bit unfortunate. There's nothing from this uh, pack either. So it's going to be really unfortunate if we don't even get it. We're not even getting rare players. That's the thing. So can we at least get a rare player? No, we cannot. So we'll skip that. Just a lot of stuff to sell. Probably make our money back. Just because we're getting so many players and consumables. You know, we're getting 24 items. Sorry about that. Um, but nothing of much interest here. Okay, well, 
guys, that's going to be it. As I said, please leave me a comment if this has happened to you because I'm a little bit confused as to what happened. Uh, you guys kind of saw what happened. The game just froze and then my PlayStation turned off. It kind of restarted itself. So, yeah, unfortunately, that's the end of this episode for the Draft of Glory. Hopefully, we can come back next episode and get a decent team like we did have and hopefully win, which was where I was thinking we might be headed for this draft. But, yeah, if you enjoyed this, please leave a like. A um, bit unfortunate what happened. Uh, not entering a draft right now. But, yeah, and leave, please leave a comment, like I said. Uh, just let me know if this has happened to you. And subscribe to the channel to stay tuned. Thanks for watching.